I'm Doug Sumner. I'm product manager for tool measuring systems with Big Kaiser Precision Tooling. And this is our Sproni Futura Auto Shrink. The technology is to set up a tool holder that has shrink fit technology quickly and accurately to get it into production. So we'll be setting the tool to size as opposed to putting it in, not knowing that dimension until we actually put it into a presetter and measure it. So the concept was started in 1998 by Speroni and another company that was manufacturing shrink fit systems. From there we developed the technology to the point now we have the coil and the cooling unit all in the one arm. So it can go from the heating to the cooling in the same operation. The operator will never have to handle a hot tool thus avoiding burn issues and stuff like that. The accuracy, we can literally tune this to plus or minus five microns. So if you're running multi-spindle machines, um, you'll be able to set up all the spindles at the same dimension. The other way it helps out is that the speed of the setup, if you're doing 100 or more shrink fit tools a day, this has the capability of setting them up very rapidly to help maintain that setup. What's gonna happen? I'll select my tool out of the list, I tell it that I'm going to assemble the tool and then the tutorial is going to guide me through. So it's going to initialize the machine and then it's going to measure the holder. So the camera is going to come in and measure the holder. So even though I might have a differing length of holder, it's going to compensate automatically for that. Once it's measured that, I'll take the cutter into a setup bushing. I introduce it into the holder, I initialize it, there's a CNC pin underneath the holder that's going to come up to help measure that cutter. The camera researches the top of the cutter, and as soon as it sees it, now it's waiting for the pin to move the cutter. Once that happens, it measures between so it knows the length of the cutter positions the pin down into the holder then it's going to drop the coil down once the coil is down it'll energize it when the holder heats up the cutter will drop down to the pin then it'll automatically switch to the cooling so we never have to touch that holder while it's in the hot state. And then once the cooler gets down, it's going to go into a locked cooling cycle and that we cannot move the machine off until that cooling cycle is completed. The cooling cycle on this one is running about 30 seconds. We want to keep the heat cycle and the cool cycle as low as possible. So on this size of a holder, we're literally heating it for 3 seconds, cooling it for 30 seconds. At the end of the cooling cycle, it'll be cool enough that I don't have to worry about a glove or anything else to handle it. As soon as it's complete, it's going to give me the ability that I can go right into a verification stage to measure it, get the information either onto a label or output to the machine control so I can get it into operation. Once it's complete, I finish the cycle. Then I can go directly to my measuring come in the holder and then my number is displayed I can save it out to the machining center once it gets completely normalized I will be less than five microns off from my setup